Amig Berto. I am a blogger and radio host. I used to use Dropbox, now I'm a dedicated user of OneDrive. To learn more, click below. What I do, uh, both write in, write, write in software as well as write in reviews, as well as put in my uh, stuff together, I need to have spaces in the cloud. And it turns out that both Dropbox and OneDrive presented that opportunity. And that's what I use them for, to save all my files, my photos, my, my radio shows, everything in the cloud. OneDrive integrates perfectly with One's operating system. And that is one of the reasons that I chose OneDrive. OneDrive can seem like a seamless piece of your file system so that when you save something off, it's like saving it locally, but knowing that you have the security of that same data in the cloud. But what's best of all of that is that once you place that thing there, you have it on your phone, your tablet, or even on some other computer through some other interface. Dropbox Business is, is, is a pretty good tool and, and, and how it differentiates itself from many others is that it is, it, it's ubiquity. Everybody knows about Dropbox. So whether you are in the Apple platform, the Windows platform, or the Unix platform, or any other platform, people know about it because it's been around for a long time. So if you want something that's interoperable and that, some, that everybody can have access to, Dropbox is actually not a bad choice. Setting up Dropbox as well as OneDrive, they're both easy, it's seamless. However, OneDrive is much more seamlessly integrated with the operating system's file system, which means uh, moving files to your OneDrive uh, compared to moving files to your OneBox is a bit different. OneDrive is easier to uh, copy, paste, and that sort of uh, using that sort of functionality. Dropbox is great for moving those large files that you have when you're doing data collection or when you're doing filming, that sort of a thing. Both of them are easy to set up, but again, I think they serve uh, kind of distinct markets. Whenever I'm searching for software like uh, uh, cloud software, Dropbox and OneDrive, one of the most important things that I think everyone should be looking at is not only interoperability, but the company behind it. Is it an established company? Because if you're gonna have your files on the cloud somewhere, you don't want it to be a company whose uh, future is nebulous that may simply disappear because with, with that goes your files. So it's important, one, ease of use, reliability, and assurance that the company uh, hosting your cloud is one that's gonna be around for some time.